Hello, this is Sam with Aviatrix Systems. In this video, I'm going to provide you with an overview and walkthrough of Aviatrix Copilot, a day to operation and visibility capability of Aviatrix Multi Cloud Networking Platform. When you log into Copilot, first, you would see that there are three main sections or functionalities available in Copilot today. First is a dashboard, which is supposed to give you a summary of everything that Copilot sees and knows about. As an example, an inventory of your Aviatrix gateways, as well as your virtual cloud environments that basically shows you where your networks are deployed globally. And also you can see the list of your VPCs, VNets, or VCNs, which we collectively call virtual data centers. Also you can see the distribution by size, region, gateway on the bottom of this page. You also see the summary of total amount of data transfer that we see going over your global aviatrix transit in the past 24 hours. Next is the topology, which basically offers you a global view of everything that aviatrix knows about, including aviatrix gateways, VPCs, VNets, as well as subnets and instances that are all coming together that, to form your topology. Further, topology provides a range of configuration options that allows you to customize the topology to your liking and decide what you like to see and what you like to hide and save the layout. Further, you can use custom tags in order to find your resources quickly based on any custom tag. Not only you can search and quickly find resources you're looking for, you would also be able to click on an Aviatrix gateway and perform diagnostics functions that include ping and trace route right from here in the topology. Last but not least is Flow IQ of Aviatrix Copilot, which basically allows visualization of flow records that are generated by Aviatrix gateways. We have five distinct views that each tell a different story of what is going over your network. We have the overview that basically summarizes the top talkers and top receivers. We have the trends that basically shows you the movement of traffic over a specific period of time. And you can detect anomalies like specific spikes and go investigate those. Or you can see if over time your traffic volume is increasing and needs your attention in certain areas of your network. We have also geolocation that can be a really helpful tool in security and compliance showing you where most of your traffic is going and, and, and coming from in the network and basically the geolocations that we detect based on the traffic that's going over Aviatrix global transit network. Flows shows you the relationship of top talkers and top receivers basically in the pairs so you can see if there are any two for example IP addresses that are generating most of the traffic in the network and need your attention. And lastly you have the records that you can actually see the most granular level of information that are available in NetFlow, which is every single flow record. You also have the ability to use custom filters to further narrow down the scope of what you're looking at in every single one of these views. This could be source IP address, destination IP address, or multiple, flow, uh, multiple filters that you can apply to any views so that you can look at and narrow down the scope of traffic. Thanks for watching and don't forget to reach out to us if you have any further questions at www.aviatrix.com. We have solution architects available to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.